Right then, are we back on with this? Yeah. A couple of seconds in. Right, so we're mutually exclusive now uh, and independent. So if A doesn't happen, it's 1 minus A happening. So we should be happy with that result. That the complement is 1 minus it actually happening. If they're independent, they have no effect on each other. If they're independent, you can multiply them together. That's what we did on the tree diagram. Mutually exclusive, they can't happen at the same time. So the A or B is that, is adding them together. Right, so we're going to use these to answer these questions. So it tells you that A or B are mutually exclusive. So if they're mutually exclusive, we can just add them together. So the probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B. So the probability of A or B, that all doesn't look like at all, is 0.2 plus 0.45 plus 0.65. There's one for you to have a go at. Oh, look, it's there. It's uncovered. Never mind. Then there's one for independent. So if it's independent, we said that A and B is multiplying them together. So the probability of A and B is A times B. So the probability of A and B is 0.2 times 0.45, uh, which gives us 0. Oops. 0.09. There we go. From there. And there's one for you to have a go at. So multiply them together. Boing. 0.18. So is that, that page for you? I've got another example on mine. Uh, is that the same? Yeah, it is. Right, so mutually exclusive. So we know we can add them together. So A or B is A and B. So 0 0.45 is 0 0.2 plus B. So 0 0.25 is B. So there's one there. Oh, did I show you that? Did I reveal that? I've one there. Where's it gone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I must have done. Yeah. thought I'd not revealed that one then. Keep an eye on the clock. 2.30, 2.40. So there's one there for you to have a go at. Exactly the same idea. There. So that one's for independent, so where you multiply them together. Uh, part four, let's have a part four. So it says A and B are mutually exclusive. Keep an eye on clock, Dave. Um, so I know if they're mutually exclusive, we can add them together. So here's my plan. I'm going to find A first. And then I'm going to find the complement. So I know that A or B is adding them together. So 0 0.45, that looks my was, is A and 0 0.2. So 0 0.25 is A. And I also know that the probability of it not being A, the complement, is 1 minus A. So it not being A is 1 minus 0 0.25. So it's 0 0.75. Not A, not 0.75, there. So I found A first and then switched it to its complement. Now is this exactly the same? Oh, we've got independent with an and here. So you can find D and then switch it to its complement. There. So we found D and switched it to the complement. <gasps> Keep going, Dave. We're running out of time for this one. Oh, oh my God, there's loads. Maybe we won't. Uh, so in 4 minutes 25. So you know what, I'm going to stop the vid now, start.